Hello, everybody. You might have noticed the world's getting a little bit different, right? Just a teeny weeny 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 humans. We're very funny, aren't we? Now, look what's happening. Look what is happening. Here you have the dark evil cabal attempting to control the planet and do all their crazy shit. Over here you have this mass of humanity that's kind of, what's going on, man? This don't look like it's kind of good. And you got people here that are protecting these freaking nutballs. And then you got people here saying this is what's going on. And you got people here saying this is what's going on. You got the people that are sort of agreeing with the government narrative. You got the people over here that are not agreeing with the government narrative. And so you might be somewhere in between going, ah, uh, <laughs> I don't quite know what's going on, but you kind of realize there's something kind of fishy going on. And I'm sending this message, let's say, to the people in the Canadian Revolution. This is specifically to everyone in there. There's 25,000 members, right? Canadians, right? We're a little bit different than the Americans. I mean, our brothers to the brothers and sisters to the south there, a little bit, uh, how would you say, in a nice way, because you have to, they're a little, I don't know, like, like, like Canadians want things a little bit more peaceful, a little bit more conservative, a little bit more, but the thing is, they're starting to interfere. They're starting to interfere with our pot, and they're starting to interfere with our beer. They're starting to interfere with our social lives. They're starting to interfere. Like for the most time, most Canadians will look at that government and go, okay, whatever's going on, you know, they just do their thing and fine. You know, you can live your life. Don't have to worry about it much, right? Like same old, same old. They're going to do their, their thing, but you want to live your life. But now you can't even go outside. Like, <laughs> freedom of movement is gone. Like, that's a fundamental human right. And they say that it's because of this pandemic, but the data doesn't back it up. You know, when, the, when you really get through everything, scientifically, it's not what they say. So, I think, probably you think, you know, something's wrong in Denmark. Something's wrong. And you know deep down that whoever's at the top, you know, the global bankers, the Illuminati, evil cabal, you know, whoever these people are, they're not quite right in the head. Like, they, they haven't quite figured out this internet thing where they think they can use it as a surveillance technique to watch, watch a billion of us. I mean, like... <laughs> Why were they watching? Most of us are just sitting there in front of the screen. You know, like, why would they want to watch? But now, a lot more conspiracy theorists, all those people you thought are crazy. Mm, you know, you got to go back to 9 11. Go back to 9 11. You know, if you still think that building came down because of fire and gravity, because that's what the government narrative said, you know, whoo, <laughs> no. Building seven, <laughs> seven seconds. How did that go down? I don't know. I mean, some, it caught on fire, right? And it fired, and then it just, it just sort of self collapsed in seven seconds after being on fire, getting fired from the debris from those other two big buildings that came down like in eight seconds because of a plane hitting at the top. Yeah. yeah. Fire and gravity. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's the same people. Right? The same nutballs who think they can control the world, who start the wars, who make the money on the wars, you know, they're freaking nuts, right? They're nuts. They don't know they're nuts. And we're watching them. And every sort of normal human being is, you know, we've put up with it for so long and we were lied to 
for so long. But now it's 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 like I love seeing this Canadian Revolution thing because it, it's it's like there's a few kind of like conspiracy theorists who've been around for a while been saying, hey guys, you know, take a look at that, and they were no, 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 no. <laughs> he's crazy because these guys say it's this way. And you're going, but what about this, 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 and this? They're spraying the skies in the middle of fucking Saskatchewan. Like, there's planes. <laughs> Why? <gasps> oh, that's just normal air traffic. Okay. Okay. Fluoride in the water? Like, maybe that's affecting us. I like fluoride in the water. You know what I mean? So, now... The whole population has to be going, hmm, do I want to be like, uh, hmm, or George Orwell, 1984, like all these movies and shows that are showing this horrible future where it's always the freaking government in control, like with massive power, you know, making our lives horrible? Mm, no, I think that timeline is like, eh, no, not going to happen. We need the timeline of, hey, man, let's just create a beautiful world we can all live in together and in peace and harmony there's plenty for everybody if we just got rid of the freaking greedy bankers you know like the people who use usury the people who are you know fleecing us the people who every 20 years take all the wealth out of the market like the people who just are you know nuts so you have to start to think for yourself and you have to do some research. I'd say start 9-11. Just look at building seven, building seven, 9-11. Figure that one out. If you figure that one out and now turn your direction to what's going on the planet right now and go, huh, same people who invaded Afghanistan, same people who invaded Iraq, the same people who invaded Libya, the same people who are fucking doing all this shit. You know, you can't say they're American. You can't say they're a country. You can't say they're... They're related, you know, they're this kind of dark group behind the shadows that are always hiding and using their power to deceive the rest of us. So we don't go, you know, <laughs> it's those guys. If we got rid of those guys, change the whole freaking system, we'd be doing great. But because these guys don't want us to understand that, they're doing all these funny business like ants with a stick and they're just hitting everything to try to make things go crazy because most human beings are normal good people that don't want to invade and ruin countries, right? We don't want to go steal everything from everybody else. Like we're just trying to get along. We're just trying to get, you know, food for our children, water for our people, right? So this was supposed to be a five minute message and I know people don't got much of an attention span. So my name is Captain Sweep, otherwise known as Elijah. And I'd like to give you some more messages to you and maybe give you a perspective that's a little bit different than those guys. And maybe you can begin to share your knowledge, to understand what's happening in an intelligent manner. And then maybe together we can come up with some sort of plan to deal with what's happening, right? Right. Okay. Nice to meet you. You're doing great. Love the Facebook page. You guys are this, but we got to take it to the next level. You know, it's like self-organize, planetary guardian, media teams, planetary guardians. It's us. You're a Jedi Knight. You want to go like, yeah, let's fucking do something. Well, planetary guardian just got, yep, you're in, everybody. And now... Four people on a team, media team, start to team up, go on a Zoom. Four people, go on a Zoom, start talking and go, hey, how can we help things out? You're going to be a unit. Then five of you come together. That's a superhero team. Now you got 20 people. Ooh then you got seven of those, it's 140, plus the four that started you. You got to share a knowledge community. 144 people. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. You can build a whole new economic system with just that. Yeah, make it ethical, make it good, make it transparent, make it blockchain. Make it something that is real and good for the people, right? Us. Okay, 
Gotta go. See ya. Excellent.